Hey guys, and welcome back for today's video. Going to be touching on a couple of polls that have been released over these past couple of days. One of them is taking a look at the national picture of the 2020 Democratic primary, and then we also have a state-specific result looking at the all-important early state of New Hampshire. Now, we're going to start off here with the national numbers, this one coming from YouGov, and we're going to take a look first here at the candidates that are being considered by those that were polled. And if you're interested in looking at all this polling data for yourself, I'll have links posted down in the video description. So starting off here, in terms of these voters and who they're considering in this YouGov poll, you have Biden leading the way at 50%, but relatively close and competitive actually among the top three where you have Biden at 50%. Warren at 49, Sanders at 46, and then you get a bit of a gap before you get down to Pete Buttigieg, who's at 31%, and then there's another gap before you get down to Klobuchar, Bloomberg, and Booker, as well as Yang, who are in the mid to upper teens. Now, if we take a look at the first choice of these individuals, and it's showing a relatively close race nationally at the top with those top three options, Biden leading the way down two points from where he was a week ago in these YouGov numbers. He was at 29 in this one. He's at 27%. Warren rebounding a bit. She actually gained the most in this instance, up four percentage points. And actually, for whatever reason, these YouGov polls have by and large have been a bit more favorable towards Warren than where we typically see her overall national numbers. And in this one, re rebounding into second place with 22% of support, gaining four points from where she was a week ago. And then also Sanders picking up a point. He was at 19% in this one. He's at 20%. And then there's quite a significant gap between the top three and the rest of the field where you get to Pete Buttigieg, who's at 7%. And then you have Bloomberg, Yang, Gabbard, as well as Klobuchar, who are each at three percentage points respectively, Tom Steyer at 2%, Booker at just 1%, and then everyone else is registering 0% of support. And we take a look at the second choice, and we can see that Bernie leads the way in terms of the second choice among these voters at 12%, Warren at 11%, Biden at 9 Buttigieg at 7 Booker at 6 Bloomberg at 5 Klobuchar and Yang each at four percentage points, respectively. So those were the YouGov national polls that I wanted to take a look at. And now we got a Monmouth poll out of the state of New Hampshire. And it's kind of interesting to see how some of these numbers have shifted around. Now, it's not the largest sample size by any means in this New Hampshire poll. It's around 400. But nonetheless, the last Monmouth poll that was taken in the state was back in September. And we can see that Bernie Sanders gaining rather significantly in terms of his overall net favorability where he was at plus 35 back in September, but he's at plus 46 in this one. And that's in contrast to a number of these other candidates who took a step back. We see Pete Buttigieg down five percentage points. He was at plus 50% actually in that net favorability in this one at plus 45. But what's interesting with Buttigieg is even though his net favorability numbers aren't quite as good in this one as what they were back in September in this Monmouth poll, out of New Hampshire, his overall first choice numbers are way up, and we'll touch on that next. But then we also see Warren taking quite a significant step back down 18 percentage points in her net favorability. Andrew Yang, a big step forward, plus 30%. He was at plus 5 back in September, and this one's at plus 35. Biden down 9 percentage points in that net favorability. He was at plus 42, and this one at plus 33. And you can see how the rest of the field looks beyond those individuals. Going down and taking a look at the first choice, and we can see a very competitive race at the top. And something that is worth noting in this New Hampshire poll and the polls that we're getting out of the state in general is the fact that Bloomberg, his name isn't going to be on the ballot in New Hampshire. I believe he didn't file in time to have his name show up on the ballot. So that's likely to help the more centrist type candidates like a Pete Buttigieg and a Joe Biden making things a little bit tougher for Sanders and Warren. And that's maybe part of the reason why we're seeing Buttigieg and Biden just a little bit ahead of where we're seeing the progressives of Sanders and Warren in this instance. But Buttigieg gaining 10 percentage points from where he was back in September. He was at 10 percent in this one. He's at 20 percent. Biden taking a bit of a step back. He was in second place back in September at 25%. In this one, he's at 19. Sanders taking quite a big step forward where he was able to gain six points. He was at 12 points back in September. And I was pretty skeptical about those September numbers with Sanders really struggling in a state that you would expect him to do quite well in. In this one, rebounding a bit from that point where he's at 18 percentage points. And all the top three candidates are well within that margin of error of each other. Very close and competitive at the top. But Warren taking quite a significant step back where she was at 27% in September, in this instance, down 12 percentage points at 15% of support. And then the rest of the field, we see 
Klobuchar at 6%, Gabbard and Steyer each at 4 percentage points, Yang at 3%, Michael Bennett at 2%, Cory Booker at just 1 percentage points. Now, they actually did something interesting. They cut the field down to just the top seven options. And when that was the case, you have a situation where it's Biden and Sanders tied at the top at 21%, followed by Pete Buttigieg at 20%, and then Warren at 15%. So this was taking out individuals like a Tulsi Gabbard, which was probably a big reason that Sanders went up in this instance, but then other individuals like a Deval Patrick, a John Delaney, a Michael Bennett, a Tom Steyer, those individuals taking their names out of here. We can see how that race might play itself out. And then after that, they limited it down just to the top four options. And again, very close and competitive, but taking out some of these other choices actually helped the more centrist type candidates in this instance where you had Biden and Buttigieg at the top at 24 and 23 percentage points respectively, followed by Sanders at 21 and Elizabeth Warren at 18 points. And those are the numbers that I want to touch on here in this Monmouth poll out of the state of New Hampshire. And again, guys, if you'd like to take a look at these two polls for yourself, I'll link them down in the video description. But that's going to wrap this one up. I appreciate you guys stopping by. Consider subscribing to the YouTube channel and I'll see you back here for future videos.